Hello horsey people! I'm so excited. This is the game I've been waiting for forever. I was actually checking Instagram every day. I was googling it. I was like, when is this game coming out? And this is Equestrian the game. Yeah. So all you guys who have had it like first, I've been very jealous. And now I get to play it. So here we are. So we get to make our little avatar. You can actually be a boy or a girl, which is cool. So that's really good because a lot of these girl games, girl games, that's exactly the point. A lot of these horse games are like girly. I think I need to not be slim. I'm not slim. <laughs> Let's make me a little bit curvier. Yeah, cool, okay. I like being curvy, that's great. Um, I'll go with that sort. I do like having a slightly darker skin. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool that actually you get the option of being a boy. And actually, this really reminds me of this, what, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Oh, my chin. Let's go with the heart chin. Yeah, eyebrows. Oh, we get those different shapes of eyebrow. That one's great. So, um, I'm not gonna, am I gonna make myself? I don't know, eye shape. You can make it like that. Oh, what does this remind me of The Sims so much? Oh, okay, let's try to make eye distance a bit more out. Gonna make her look really fabulous. I hope we can change the hairstyle, to be honest. I'm not sure on that. Oh, right, you can make the eyes massive. She's gonna be so pretty. And then my eye color, which I always argue with my fiance, because I have a fiance now. I think my eyes are green, but he says they're brown. And I'm like, great, thanks. So let's go with that. It'll do, it'll be brown. I'll go with what he says. Oh my God, can I make myself a massive nose? Wait, that's width, you don't know. Nose angle. Yeah, pixie nose. Yeah, I got a nose a bit like that, I guess. Have I got a nose like this? Does it even look like me? <laughs> does this look like me? I don't think it does. I don't like the haircut too much, but it looks like we're gonna be able to change that in a minute. Lip size. Yeah, let's get some big old choppers. Okay, and then let's change the hair. Yes, because I really don't like that. Oh my gosh, does it look like me? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. This is kind of my riding hair though. I, have, I always have my hair in a bun. I don't like that, that's weird. I mean, it's all right. It's not for me. Let's go with this one. I'm always got my hair in a bun. This is cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. We need to change our clothes next. Name. Ooh, name. Let's call it Lady Ranger. Why not? <laughs> what? What? Who's taking my name? For, well, let's put the game on it and see if that works. <gasps> Bet someone's at it. <gasps> I'm Lady Ranger Gamer. Who stole my name, man? Okay. The actual L R G. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I've got to register. So, guys, I had a bit of a blip there, but anyway, so I started recording again. Totally forgot to turn my mic on. So, here we are. Wait, that's my horse calmly grazing outside the estate. It must have gotten away from the trailer. I have to check that everything is okay. Oh my gosh, it's such a pretty horse. So I've just turned down my uh, audio settings here, because otherwise, I don't know if you can hear me. Oh, you, oh, I love this. So at first, I thought this was the only horse, and then I realised there were arrows. So, yeah. So this is a Swedish warm blood, which is awesome. Then we have the Arabian. Wow, well, back, this is the Swedish warm blood here, and this one I realised, yeah. So then we got, um, oh, I took a screenshot as well, because I wanted to get a screenshot of every single breed. So we've got the Arab, and you guys know how much I love greys. I'm a sucker for a grey. I also love Arabs. So yeah, you get to pick one of these horses. There's quite a few options as well. Instantly love the graphics. There's a Welsh cob here, guys. Strengths, trot, canter, turn ability. I mean, you've got your strengths for each breed as well, which is absolutely amazing. And the graphics are absolutely mind-boggling. So here's a Frisian. Of course there's a Frisian. There's gonna be, isn't there? But so far, this game is so making me happy. <laughs> it's really making me happy. So yeah, you've got strength, uh, strength, trot and canter. You have a thoroughbred as well. This is amazing. The thoroughbred looks really good, actually. And then later on, you can actually change the colours, which I didn't realise, which is so cool. So I just saved that to photos. And we have a little Norwegian Fjord, which is so cute. I literally love it. I think the Fjord is the cutest, actually, on reflection. So when I was doing this, uh, obviously I was talking while I was recording this, but my microphone wasn't on, so that was really helpful. 
And then we're back to the Swedish warm blood. So I think there's our uh, six, two, three, four, five, five, six, six breeds. I can't count. So yeah, I am now picking which horse I want. So I wanted the grey, but I wasn't sure I wanted an Arabian. And I was thinking, oh, I really want a Welsh cob because you guys know I love my cobs. And I have to go for a grey, right? But there's so many options. So many options of colour. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at this. Look at all these different coat patterns here. This is crazy. So you get like buckskin, black, grey, chestnut, standard bay. So all of these are standard. Standard Palomino. Get a Cremello as well, which is cool. And done. Uh, Slate Grullo. And I think the last one is a Flax and Chestnut. So standard. Does that mean we're probably going to have more colours in the future? And you can put variants, variations of the colour on your horses as well which is really cool. So you can change the mane, you can change, you know, little tiny, tiny details. So at this point I'm like, oh, I don't know what to pick. Because I love black horses, but I also love greys, and I love palominos, and I love gramellas, and I love all of them. So yeah, I've picked the grey. So we're just going to change the mane here. Oh, yeah, I've gone for the long option. I just, I just really like that. I think Welshies look great with long manes and tails. So, yeah, now we're changing the eye colour and I go for something a bit unique here. Something a little bit different. And I actually ask you guys at this point, which one of my horses in real life has a blue eye? And I said, if you get this right, you'll get a shout out in one of my videos next week. Which horse in real life that I own has a blue eye? Yeah, you have to go and look at Lady Ranger real life playlist to go and discover if you don't know. Yay! It's so cute that we have a lifetime certificate for our horse here as well. I loved this. I thought it was a really nice little uh, feature of the game. I just saw it was awesome. And then I end up twisting it. Oh, it's got feathers on the bottom of his feet. I didn't even realise that, actually. Yay! So I'm happy with the horse. So we're going to go to the estate now. Yay! And the horse is so happy too. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, but guys, if you want to see my appalling riding skills in a minute, then... Yeah, you're in for a treat. Good thing she didn't get injured. Let's ride the last bit back to the estate. Luckily, we've gone bareback before. <laughs> I need to ride bareback again, actually. I haven't done it in ages. Pressing once with my legs, ask the lady to go forward. Try tapping the forward button once. This confused me, <laughs> to say the least. So, yeah, tapping your legs goes forward. Okay. So yeah, you have these three buttons down here. The big one <laughs> in the middle there. That's your sort of get going button. Press twice signals to lady that I want more speed. Let's try double, double speed. <laughs> so you tap twice for trot. So it's once for walk, twice for trot. And then, oh, and then they introduce the steering, which really messes with me. Because this is the problem I have on Equestriad World Tour. The other, like, the, there's another app game. I just, yeah. I mean, there's actually, to be fair, I found the steering on this okay in the end. Lady's quite energetic and will start to speed up if I let her. Let's ask her how to slow down. Wait, what? Slow down. Obviously pulling the reins, which is good. <laughs> which is a massive plus. Oh, dear. So, yeah, you pull down on that and it slows the horse down, which was... Yeah, messing with me a little bit because when the coordinate when I need my coordination to do everything quickly, I'm gonna have probably have a shock in my life. Probably will have a shock in my life. Definitely. Okay, so I think we're testing this out now. Okay, good. She slows down if I ask. That's always nice when horses do that. And then yeah, we introduce this little button here on the left. Uh, well, it's in the, that that thing that's glowing. You know, <laughs> you click that, you can it. And then we can go even faster. Which is double tapping that big button in the middle again. Which is fun. So yeah, we're trying out, we're going as fast as we can, I think, according to that. I see a jump coming up. Yay, we've got jump. Yay. Give rain at the right time. Oh, this messed with me so much. So you have to like give the rain. Oh, that really confused me. This is awesome. And then, yeah, this was a nice little feature that I didn't realize 
was in the app, the horse gets scared of things, which I think is really realistic and cool. So the horse isn't a big fan of the bridge. And you have a scared button. And the horse actually looks up as if it's scared. This game. This game. I wish it was a desktop. I wish it was a desktop game. Because then, um, one, I could play it with my mouse. <laughs> because I can't... I'm so rubbish on an iPad. I just... The coordination hates it. I'd much rather play it with a mouse and stuff, you know? Yeah, so... You've got to be careful along this bridge because, uh, clearly, you go too fast and you don't... If you don't tap your horse, you can tap the horse and it will calm the horse down. And the horse, hopefully, won't be scared anymore. But clearly, I'm not doing a very good job with this. I found this quite hard, actually, for some reason. I don't know why. But have any of you guys got this game yet? It's just come out in the UK. Ah! And Europe. So anybody who's already had it, I'm very jealous. But now I have it, so I'm not jealous anymore. <laughs> oh, but this is awesome. So we're walking along, having a lovely time, and we're getting closer to the estate. So I think we're off to ride to the estate. Let's go. Welcome to a question in the game. As you're reading this, we at Cavallari Games are working on new features, improvements, and fun content for you to enjoy in the future. We feel like we're only just getting started, so we're excited to keep improving and growing the game together with you. <laughs> Join our friendly community on Discord to connect with other equestrians and the Cavallari team. We love to chat with you about all things ETG. You can now follow us on social media to get frequent updates on what we're up to. Show off your game on social media using the hashtag. Oh, that's our hashtag, is it? ETG Riders. I hope I can remember that. <laughs> we love seeing your progress. Thank you for playing Equestrian Cavallari Games. Oh my gosh, I love this game. Ah, look at the estate. This is our new home, lady. I know you have a potential to become a show jumper. Now we can finally give it our all. Oh, amazing. What's this? It looks like its previous owner left us a gift to start with. Oh, see, at this point, I was like, can I select a gift? I was like, oh, do I get one gift? No, we get the whole lot. The whole lot. Lady is going to need training to become a professional show jumper, guys. Uh, guys, if you if you want to see some dire riding from me in a minute on this game, then yeah, carry on. Carry on watching this. <laughs> um, I'm not very good at this. Oh, dear. So we're going to the riding hall now to do some training, which will be fun. So we've got to buy a riding hall first, though. Oh, it does look so smart. Like, the game is so clean and just lush. I just love it. Let's try the beginner jump high route routine. Ooh, it's good for show jumping as a lady improves. I couldn't read that quick enough. So yeah, ah, oh, you train in jumping general and dressage. I actually, yeah, I completely like, I think that is awesome. Longer training routines. So longer training routines drain a lot of energy so we need carrots to complete them. Hmm, Welsh carb. Let's have our coach help speed up the routine this time. So so I'm assuming the gold, that's definitely going to be like real life money eventually. <laughs> if you want to put money into the game. Which, to be fair, I think is fair enough. Like I'd invest in this game just to help them with it because it's, it's awesome. It's so awesome. Um, yeah, just like buy their little, buy the odd little thing in that. Because obviously at the end of the day, it's a free game for you to enjoy. That's how I feel anyway. I think we're ready for our first competition, but before we can enter the real competitions, we can enter a practice competition. Now, if you guys want to laugh, I'd carry on watching. If we finish this course with zero, mm, zero penalties, we get a clear round. Knocking down poles or refusing a jump will get us penalties. Exceeding the time limit means penalties too. We must avoid that to get a clear round. Look how nice my pony looks. It looks so smart. I'm really glad I went for the like grey with the blue eyes, actually. I think it looks really smart. So, we only have a minute. A minute time. Minute, minute, minute time. Competition training. Crikey. Okay. Uh, we've prepared for this. No, no, we haven't. Remember that lady will only jump while riding in canter. Hmm. Yep, I should aim to approach the jump as straight as possible to adjust the speed depending on the jump type. The wider the jump, the faster I need to go. The higher the jump, the slower I need to go. Which is true to like riding in real life, which is cool. In the right top corner, I can see what jump type comes next. Oh, I didn't actually read that bit uh, when I recorded this first. Lastly, I want to give rain at the right time. That's the bit I find really hard, like giving the rain at the right time. I just, I don't know, it just messes with me, man. It really messes with me. Okay, hold for canter. 
which is what I'm doing. And then this is confusing. Vertical jump, I need to jump high, but not very fast. So I should go as slow as possible, but still in candor. This is what messed with me. Uh, ooh, I did not understand this. Oh, 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 it was trying to like show me what to do, but I just, I literally was so confused. Is anybody else finding this confusing? Or is this just me being dim? I mean, it's highly likely it's me being dim. <laughs> oh dear. Help me guys, help me. So yeah, I get a little bit stuck here. I'm not quite sure why, but I do. Oh, and then I accidentally steer and jump the wrong thing. So this is an ox or a double jump. I need a bit more speed here. So off I go, and I'm trying to like give them my hands already, and they give. Oh, okay, I actually did that one, which was a miracle. Because the competition I do later, I am I'm dire. I'm not having a good day with that. It's not good. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, okay. A triple bar is low but wide. I need more speed. Crikey. So I needed even more speed. I think that's the point, maybe. I didn't really know what happened there. I gave her the rein, and then the horse just kind of went kaplunk on me. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh. Oh. I wish there was a space bar to jump. I'm not going to lie. Please, can this come out on desktop? Please. I mean, I know you've got all the app and stuff, but please, we want it on our computers. It would be so much more fun on a computer. And then I wonder if they'll bing, bing, bring. Oh no, I just plow through it. Oh dear, I had a terrible time here. This even I didn't even get through the training. I'm so terrible. <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoopsie poopsie. <laughs> I'm not good at this game. I need help. Hey, we're back to the estate, and then we're gonna get told more stuff. That was tricky, but we made it. Now we can give the real competitions a shot. Hmm. Yeah, so ready for that. Lady got tired from her test. Her energy is drained. I better prepare some fodder, so she can like get all the energy back. So we're going to build a silo. It also generates carrots. Yay! So it does fodder and carrots, this silo thing. Which is good. Which is what we need. Oh, awesome. Okay, we're going to go off into the land of competition now. Oh, no, we're not. We're in the, we're in the stables. I remember this now. <laughs> God. Croggy. Okay, so we need to give our horse some carrots and some food. They're showing us how to do this now. So we're going to Click the fodder. Let's prepare a meal along with a carrot. Fodder offers temporary benefits and tem temperament altering fodder can even change how a lady behaves when riding. Okay. Pick a carrot. So yeah, this blew my mind for some reason. I was like, where's the carrot? <laughs> Where is it? Dun. But don't you think the, the stable looks beautiful? The horse looks beautiful. The graphics are insane. Ever since this game was announced, I was like a little tiny child and extremely excited. I was like a three-year-old. So excited. Oh, ridiculous. So we're just going to add some oats and then we fed. All right, ladies, energize. But before we compete for real, we should find some proper gear. So we're going to go to the stall now and hopefully find some cool tack or stuff like that, which is going to be super, super fun. Hee hee, I'm so excited about this. Ooh, loading in. We all need a tack room in our life. I have too many numbers. Does anybody else have horses in real life? And then has too many numbers? Yeah. Or saddle pads, whatever you call them. The store has lots of items for both me and Lady. Let's see if we can find something. I like that it's using the horse's name that we've put into the, like, game. Yeah, I just think it looks really cool. There is a create a horse option I did see as well that's kind of like blink, like blurred out a bit. Blinked out, blurred out, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's so fun. So there's loads of different options here. So, I don't know what this is. You can get bundles. So there's breeches for sale. There's t-shirts. You can tell it's an American thing because we call them t-shirts here and they call them tees, <laughs> which really messes with me. Shoes, show jackets. Yeah, loads of things. Helmets. There's loads of like variations as well, colors and stuff. And I imagine it will just grow. They'll get more and more of it. There's also different bridles. There's saddles, different types. There's bandages and extra miscellaneous stuff as well. So yes, it looks so promising. Well, it is pro it's amazing this game. It doesn't look promising. It's already hit the five stars for me. <laughs> Let's go to the stables and prepare Lady for the competitions. Okay. Can't get over how beautiful the stable is as well. <laughs> Let's tech up Lady. So we're gonna tech her up now, guys. This is exciting. <laughs> Okay, let's put tack where we want to use, what we, blah, 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 that we want to use for competition. So we've got a cool all-rounder, we've got a cool core bridle, and then we've got some 
numnaz, which is good. So the numna looks blue, but it's looks more purpley to me. I don't know why. But yeah, I like this. So then you I just saved it as like, oh no, because that's what I'm probably gonna be saying a lot through this competition. Whoopsie poopsie. Oh dear. So yeah, so exciting. I love this game so much. It would make me really happy if there was breeding, unlimited horses, and it was on desktop. <laughs> I would complete my life. And uh, there's unlimited horses, but I know that would be really no, it wouldn't be that hard. I think we could do that. So, Equestrian Kyoto. This is season three, apparently. Oh my gosh, the colors are beautiful. Look at this range. We need this in real life, I think. <laughs> it's finally time to enter some real competitions. Woohoo! Click on the competition. Okay, we're off to go and absolutely make a complete fools of ourselves. <laughs> this is gonna be a complete shambles. We're gonna enter the pony class, of course. It's open to all breeds, but a horse is under 149. I mean, that's really cool that there's pony and horse options in the jumping as well. Like, I think that's really cool. Cool, cool. Honestly, it's awesome. Yeah, so maiden. That's awesome. So I, we're gonna go to this maiden competition. To unlock the next course, we have to ride. <laughs> yeah, guys, we are not. I don't, okay, spoiler alert. We're not going to be unlocking anything today. Oh, I'm dire at this. I'm not good at this. Oh dear, it's not good. Not good. Okay, so we only have a minute for this as well. Let's tap start and go. So, this is... <laughs> does anybody want to laugh? Go on, guys. Give me a like just to cheer me up because I'm so terrible at this. <laughs> Help me. Uh, splat. Yep, does, <laughs> does not go well. Oh dear, I have to approach the jump straight on and not for angle. I know, but I'm just terrible at this. Remember to give the rain when the meter's in the green. Oh, when it's in the green. Okay, because as I'm doing a voiceover and not actually recording my voice at the same time as playing it, we'll go back. This is going to be episode one. We're actually going to do like, we're going to have a whole playlist just on a question in the game. I mean, I think this could potentially be one of my favorite games ever. Okay, I needed to give the rain right there. And I didn't time it right. Okay, I didn't read it right. Because I'm not very good at processing stuff when it's written down. I think, um, yeah, I just didn't understand. So I needed to give the rain when the green thing happened. Instead, I just uh, trotted through that one and knocked them all down, you know, as you do. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, come on. We've got this. But, guys, it's now available in Europe. And I'm glad UK was still classified as that. I mean, leaving the... Europe was a terrible idea. Terrible. Anyway, that's my opinion. Um, but yeah, if you guys are playing this, and you can actually change the lead of your canter as well, which is so cool. I think we either discover that in a minute. I can't remember. Okay, so I didn't do too bad. I, I just refused. Well, I kind of tried through one. So you have to give the rain on the green. I think that's totally just made sense to me right there. Because <laughs> what a donut. Oh, dear. So this is the global, global pony one. Oh, I think it's cool. Okay. I'm really happy with that, but... Well, I'm not. It was terrible. We'll do better next time. But guys, if you want to find out what happens next time on this game, then please make sure you are subscribed. Please turn that notification bell on as well, because then you'll be alerted of the videos straight away. Woohoo! We've got a daily reward now. This is fun. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Coins! Yay! The coins are actually... The gold coins look like they're the best thing to get. Please let us be a desktop version eventually. I know they did that with Rival Stars, didn't they? Where they started out as a mobile game and then it went to a desktop. So I just wanted to go for a quick trail ride. Trial, trail, trial, <laughs> what? Trial ride and see like what's going on. So yeah. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, look at the steering here. This fun trial, trial. So we, I just saw this massive circle with trial on it. I was like, yeah, let's go. Trail, not trial. Oh man, help me. I'm so stupid with reading. I can't read very well. It's just, just who I am. I'm just not very good at like reading, basically. I know I'm 28 year old, nearly 28 year old. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna get this. I'm recording this on Thursday, the 24th of March, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out in time, ready for today. I wanted it out just before my birthday falls. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. It might, we might get out in time, we might not. We'll see, we'll see. 
but yeah i've had a great um great weekend and to top it off with this game coming out it's just a cherry on top of the cake so this really reminds me of star stable at this point <laughs> because you know star stable you kind of Oh yeah, I just randomly patted them. I don't know what happened there. The horse was scared. Um, yeah, you do these little like sort of races where you go through the flags or whatever. And yeah, it just really reminded me of Star Stable, which is cool. It's taken elements from many games, I think, this. But graphics-wise, wow. It's probably one of the best. It's gotta be right. So we're gonna get through the circle. I think we're nearly there. I'm trying oh yeah, I wanted to test out. This is genuinely true. I wanted to test out if you the tree would stop you or if you could ride through the tree. So I took a screenshot of that because it's funny. Um, yeah, so it's yeah, it's that good with the graphics that you can't you don't just ride through trees. Because there's a lot of games where you just ride through trees. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can tell a lot by a game, by little things like this. And this is beautiful. I think this is a newish map that's just come out. Um, this is like, I guess it's based on in Oh, I'm terrible. Is it Japan or China? You guys are probably screaming at me going, what are you talking about? Um, so yeah, it's just beautiful. I just love it. It's great. I love the variations of the horses. I like that your horse can get scared and spook. I think that's wicked. Uh, that's such real life, you know. Uh, jumping, I'm obviously going to need to practice like crazy. <laughs> oh dear, but here we go. I'm trying to kick on here, but nothing's actually happening. I'm trying to go a bit quicker. But there is the finish line right there. And hopefully by doing this trail, 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 that uh, we're actually going to get some extra points. So that's going to be really fun. Yay. And then we come over to this little bridge and I'm like, oh no, it's a bridge. You're going to be scared. You're going to be scared. Cool. So we're going over this. Yay. First new place. So we haven't done any yet. So of course it's going to be a first place. I love the color and just, it's just so vibrant. It's fine. That's the way to describe it. It's a vibrant game. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. So in a minute, I'm just going to press this uh, camera button thing and uh, get some shots on the side. Look at this. So you get some nice screenshots or like just general shots to get screenshots with, basically. Oh, my pony's so cute. I look quite big on my pony there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm quite a big person on that, I think. It's because I made myself curvy. I made myself a proper like bit of size, you know. <laughs> Oh, little canter's really sweet. I'd like, does anybody like the fact my horse has blue eyes? Do you want to go back to the stable? Yeah, so we go back to the stable and you can see mentality is improved. And we've managed to get some like little ghosty things. I don't know what they are. Hey, we're back at the stable block. Oh, look how beautiful it is. The details, the wheelbarrow, the doors, the brooms, the hay bales, the little lofty thing. I love it so much. I literally love this game. It's really... Is it going to be my favourite game? If there's breeding, it's definitely going to be my favourite game, I think. So we're back to this beautiful estate right now. <gasps> love it, love it, love it. And we can buy a trailer at some point. But we're sort of coming up to a wraps, really. I don't think I'm going to do much else. You can see that we can upgrade and get more stables. The next upgrade, you can get four new stables, which is cool. So at least, even on the next level, we're going to get six stables. So I don't know how many horses we can have, actually. Does anybody else know? I'll just get a uh, cheeky screen sh screenshot of that because I think it's beautiful. I think this game's amazing. I just absolutely, this is just what I needed. And there's quite a few new horse games coming out through March. March seems to be like horse game month. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I, th well, at least I thought there were anyway, but it's coming to near the end of March. And I'm like, where are they all? Come on. Yay. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been absolutely brilliant today. I've really enjoyed this. If you could help us reach 25,000 subscribers that literally that's a dream it's a dream we are going to be gaming live soon as i all oh, i promised you all at 20,000 that's what we're going to do so please subscribe turn on the notification bell and please smash the like button if you can i'd really appreciate it. it just helps the channel and me out thank you so much for watching have a awesome day